I didn't decide to really dive into music until I was 12. Until you were 12. What was, mm -hmm. it, what was it about singing that just like you knew that's what you wanted to do? Um, actually, I've always, well, I've always been one to kind of, you know, when I'm walking around the house or something, I'm just singing a song, whatever's stuck in my head. And, um, and around that time, I, um, I needed a talent. So I was going to do the talent show, and, and so I'm like, all right, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing, because I've been singing all, all day long. That's what I'm going to do. And so I learned a quick song. First song I ever sang um, in front of an audience was Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Oh, yes, good song. Yes, great song. And, um, <laughs> and then I just fell in love with it. I loved being on stage, and I loved um, just, you know, being able to show what I love to do. <laughs> now, now, did you stand in front of a mirror oh. and, and, and have a hairbrush oh, yeah. in your hand? And oh, yeah. Well, for me, it was a wooden spoon. A wood um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I was in the kitchen with my mom, and she'd be making dinner or something, and I would grab the wooden spoon, and I would turn on the radio or turn on a CD or something, and I would just sing as loud as I can, pretending that, you know, this wooden spoon actually, like, was going to go into a speaker or something and make me sound so great. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was that was my favorite thing to do. <laughs> now, I know I've done this myself as a, as a kid. You know, mm -hmm. you, you stand in front of the mirror, you picture, and that's the camera. Did you practice a uh, acceptance speech, like if you won <laughs> a Grammy? No, I didn't want to jinx it. I don't want to <laughs> jinx it. So still to this day, I have not practiced a speech, but I do know who I would thank. So that's all that counts. That's all that counts. <laughs> yeah, I, I stood in front of... Uh, have a running list. <laughs> I stood in front of the mirror pretending I was a uh, WWF wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, I, I, nice. I, I was a really big nerd on that one. So I mean, at least with you, you have talent that everybody loves. And everybody is <laughs> pro wrestling. But, um, now, uh, who did you have on your wall? I know everybody has had like um, celebrities or, or teenage crushes or just bands uh, on your wall. Who, on, who was on your wall? Um, I'm a girl, and of course I had the little teenage crush um, on my wall. Let's see, I had Orlando Bloom, um, Chad Michael Murray, um, <laughs> some of those heartthrobs. Um, <laughs> um, and I had, um, I had Kelly Clarkson on my wall. And um, I've, I've always been a huge fan of her voice, her, her tone, the range that she has is incredible. Um, and recently, um, I not only am I a huge fan of hers, but I kind of have dove into listening to that like soulful rock sound of Grace Potter. Um, oh, okay. So huge fan of hers and huge fan of um, Joss Stone. Uh, so. <laughs> I think my sister is actually going to go check her out. Oh! In concert. Uh, so in San Diego? Yeah. I'm going. I'm so oh, going. I'm so jealous <laughs> now. It's KPSM AM 1320, Palomar College Radio. It's the Big JD, and I have Elena Blair in studio with me. And we're talking it up. Just kind of get a little insight on who she is and kind of get a little idea of the taste of music that she's into. Now, um, when you wrote your first song, um, do you remember what the song was? Um, I remember I was 14 and I decided I was going to write a song and I had my notebook and I went and locked myself in my room for hours and I came out and I was like, Mom, I just wrote a song. And she's like, okay. And I went and I was like singing it to her and of course I didn't play an instrument or anything so it's just the melody that was in my head. and. I don't remember exactly the song, but I remember it was something about a boy, something about you know <laughs> that whole team. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was I was just being Elena, um, the dorky, goofy me, um, and I was um, I was chasing that dream of writing a song. And unfortunately, at fourteen year fourteen years old, it wasn't. Um, wasn't that great, yeah. <laughs> but you know, you, you take what you have and you, you learn from um, what you've done and, and you grow and, and so that's what I've done. <laughs> well, it definitely does show, especially um, on, your, on your debut, yes. right here, yeah. Gypsy Girl, <laughs> um, 
I've been listening to this ever since I got it from you when I, I got it at the Merck. Yes. At the Temecula. Yes. And I remember you had here, you had your poster, your bumper poster. sticker, <laughs> you had the CD. Oh, you're just like, ready to go. I look at the <laughs> it's, it's so, so, bad. so <laughs> awesome, though. All I needed was just like a hat. And yeah. A yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's all of our college radio, KKSM AM 1320. It's uh, the Big JD. I got Elena Blair in studio, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep talking to her. Uh, when we get back, we're gonna play a, another track from her. Uh, actually, another new track. New track called so uh, "I'm a Mess." Yes. And we'll talk about that one as well. If anything goes with the Big JD, Palomar College Radio, KKSM, thirteen twenty a.m. We'll be right back. Great if you. 